Hello. Hey guys. Um, so we got a fun geometry and trig question here. I did this question before, but I kind of messed up, so <laughs> I'm redoing it. Now, we're giving the following information. In the figure shown, points Q, R, S, and T land line segment PV. Um, so yes, this entire sentence, this first sentence is kind of pointless because it doesn't tell you anything that you can't see visually in this image right here. So, okay, the measure of SQX, this is actually important information though. So we're going to write down every angle it gives us. SXQ is 86, SWU is 85, and VTU is 162. And what exactly are we trying to find? Oh, it says right here. What is the measure in degrees of T, U, R? We're going to label that as X because, yeah, okay. So since this lies on a flat plane, this entire thing is going to be equal to 180. Therefore, we can find STU by subtracting 162 from 180, which is going to be 18. And we have to use complementary angles to find this. Uh, to find this rather. Therefore we have to find this. But to find this, we have to find this first. So we're going to use the line technique we used right here again, right over here. It's going to be 180 minus 85 is equal to 95. So, 95. <laughs> um, still we have to find this angle as well. So we're going to use complementary angles which is going to be 180 minus 48 minus 86. So what is 48 plus 86? That is going to be 134. Therefore, this angle is going to be equal to One hundred eighty minus one hundred thirty-four, which is forty-six. This angle is equal to forty-six. Therefore, we use complementary angles again to find S -R S R W with one hundred eighty minus forty-six plus ninety-five, which, to be honest, I did this question before, so um, you can do the mental math if you want, but it's thirty-nine. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it anyways. So forty six plus ninety five is one hundred one hundred sorry one hundred plus one hundred forty one. No, okay, I've sorry, which is one hundred plus forty one, which is one hundred forty one. Therefore, it's one hundred eighty minus forty one hundred forty one thirty nine. Boom. Complementary angles one last time to find x. Final stretch here, guys. x is equal to 180 minus 39 plus 18, which is 39 plus 18 is 57, I believe. Therefore, this is x is going to be 180. Minus 57 is equal to 123. Um, so as a whole, these type of questions are usually very time consuming. So if you can, I would leave this one for the end. You know, go back to it after you've done all your other questions and you're confident about them. Then go back to this ridiculous question. If you have time left. If you don't, then I'll just like, um, 